Hey everybody, it's LogicBomb82 here with the Minecraft Union. Today we're going to check out Regions of Ruin. It just came out earlier this week. It is a adventure, action, strategy, RPG, city building, 2D platformer, which I'm pretty excited about. It's got very positive reviews on Steam right now, and you can pick it up for 10 bucks if you like what you see. So let's jump in, and I'm going to show you some gameplay. Alright, so when you get started out here, it looks like you can pick your race, but don't be uh, don't be confused by this. What this actually is, is your difficulty rating, which it says right here. This is not you picking your race. So, if you would pick a dwarf, for instance, it's the hardest difficulty. And it says unlocked when beating the game. So I think you would unlock the dwarf at that point if you beat the game on that difficulty. However, I would not recommend you start there. So we're going to start out... Uh, I usually like to start out on normal for a video game. Mouse. Worv and Kin have led a golden age of compliancy across the continent. The great centaur human war, however, caused by the dwarves to shun the overworld. Their castle lords locked themselves into the mountains for centuries. When the doors finally opened, ending centuries of silence, Always not as it should have been. What the dwarves discovered was that the entire continent had changed. Neither human nor centaur remained. The land, once bustling with activity and trade, was now peppered with goblin, leeches, and kobold enclaves. The doors now opened. Countless thousands of con conventus eyes now turned to the undercities of the dwarves. Vagus? That's the word, sorry. <clears throat> Worb and Kin fought fiercely, but were soon exiled to the surface, enslaved, captured, and ousted from their homes. Now, far from their mountain cores, far from their heritage, the dwarves slowly sought to reconquer the lands. With the dwarven race scattered, mere refugees and vagabonds it will take a hero to bring them together and restore the once mighty Dwarven Kingdom. I'm guessing we are the hero. Here we go. No idea what I'm doing? I like it. Use E to interact with the scenery and talk. Your caravan leader seems to be in trouble. Seems my will is broken off my wagon. I'll need some wood to get it fixed. Think you can help? I can ask him for rumors, I can tell him wood, occupation, or advice. I'm going to tell him I can get the wood. Yes, I'll need about ten wood to get it back up and on its feet. You might be able to find some around here. Rumors. I think there's a nice place nearby where we can start our settlement, but we need to get there first. Occupation? I'm the caravan leader. It's my job to take this caravan wherever it requires. And advice. T take your time looking for resources. You can find them in more places than you might think. Alright, so we hit E to exit out of the conversation, apparently. Use E to retrieve items from the chest and weapon rack. Press E again to get items off the ground. Press I to open your inventory or click the icon on the tools bar to see what items you have. Double click, right click, or drag items to equip and move them around. So I think I think that's already equipped. Yeah, there we go. But... This is the throwing skill tree. Unlock the first ability to be able to throw axes. I don't think I have any skill points to do that, so we'll move on. Left mouse button to attack, right mouse button to power hit, hold the left shift to shield. There's an enemy ahead. Make sure you equip a weapon. You will need something to strike with. 
Hold left shift to shield, okay. When an enemy flashes red before an attack, it means that they're getting ready to power hit. Be careful, power hits will break through your shield and do double damage to you. But you can stop it by hitting them before they attack. Uh oh. There we go. <laughs> oh, that was a regular attack. Oops, I didn't get my shield up in time. Oh no! Just been wounded, be careful. Wounds will not let you recover your full health. You need to see a physician. There we go. Oh. There we go. Death to you. But I'm hurt pretty bad. Let's go see if there's a physician up here. Smash stuff for resources. Nice. There's some archers ahead. If you use your shield, you can block their projectiles. Be careful, they will do a lot of damage otherwise. Hmm. Pressing space while moving will dash. It can be used to avoid attacks and projectiles. Hitting an enemy from behind will do double damage and avoid their shield so you won't get stunned. Uh oh. Oh, Archer bugged me, screwing me up. I don't know how to get up. Ah, oh, I can't jump up there. Ah. Oh. All hope is lost. Uh, for tutorials, it's pretty hard, I'm not gonna lie. You guys start all over? That sucks. Oh well. beat me to it. Oh, fractured. So that's severed buttocks. Not looking good for me over here. Quick at time. Alright, I'm about to rechange my strategy here. <laughs> I don't think I found that the first time, but I might have. Alright, I'm gonna get smart and save right here since we didn't take any damage.
don't know if I can get this guy. Oh. Getting a surprise attack will do tremendous damage. Apparently I didn't sneak. It's alright though. The next enemy is facing towards you, but you can use objects like crates, chests, and rubble to remain concealed. Wow, how do you sneak? I missed that part. Okay. Ah, uh, it's still too slow. Mine. <laughs> Alright. Oh, I think we're gonna free this person. Dwarf is caged here. If you rescue him, he may wish to join your caravan. Of course I'll rescue you. Come on out, buddy. There's the wood stockpiled on the ledge, but you'll need to jump and dash to reach it. Jump and dash? Both? Hey, have you come to save me? Not really, but we're gonna save you. Thank you, the heavens. They were going to eat me. Please, I'm terrified. I'm a trained physician. I'm sure you could use my services. Why, yes I can. Heal me. Alright, so I need to leap and dash his head? Oops, oops, oops. Oops, I can get the jump in. There we go. Well, let's don't skip the tutorial. Let's go take the wood back to this guy and see what happens. Change your key bindings in the difficulty setting at any time in the menu's options. Perfect, this should work just fine. The wagon finally fixed, you head west. The area near the Vale is lush and expansive. More than enough to house hundreds of dwarves. Do 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 do. Press E to construct a building. The great place to start is settlement. All we need is a couple workers to help gather materials. I don't care how I knew that. If we can help our kin, they will surely aid us. There is a goblin encampment nearby. Perhaps they've captured one of our brethren. We could use a storage tent to keep supplies for more construction. Yes, a storage tent would be a good start for the settlement. You'll need to gather some wood and leap. Or leather to build one. Alright, buddy. I can do that. This hammer here. I'm supposed to build something. A campfire, I believe. You build a campfire. Use it to level up your skills. Then open your map to begin exploring nearby regions. Press the M to open the map and click on it to explore a new area.
Use the tabs to switch between the difficulty skill trees or different skill trees. Each tree progresses from left to right and specializes in a different form of combat. Hacking, throwing, shielding, power hitting. Large icons like this will unlock different abilities and you can toggle between them to change the behavior of your appropriate move. Smaller icons like these are passive bonuses and once they are unlocked they will stay in effect indefinitely. Okay. If I get increased my strength, my dexterity, or my constitution. Let's go strength first. I think I have a skill point to assign. Double your chance of getting a critical strike. Enable this ability to make quick slashes with the left mouse button. Enable this ability to increase the force your attackers push enemies back. Double wall armor penetration. Interesting. This is the throwing axe ability. This ability to be able to unlock. I get to get throwing axe. Shield. Use the ability to use your shield with the left shift. And dash while shielding to charge and stun enemies. Ooh, that sounds nice. There we go. Think you can upgrade? Okay. Uh, let's see. You can build. Oh, a couple different things. Storage, tavern, blacksmith, or apothecary. You can kill these animals for food, which is cool. Come here, buddy. Alright. Probably the same thing over here, I imagine. Yep. Okay. I need to. on the map to explore a new region. The farther away it is, the more food it will cost. Oh, nice. I have 31 food. They want me to go here. Look at it. Okay, how do I actually go there, though? Might not. I should have enough. Seems to be highlighting it. Hmm, what if that counts? Oh yeah, it does, okay. What'd that do for me, I guess? I don't understand. Go there? Oh, there we go. Once you have to explore it, apparently you can travel it. Save some people, I think. So let's see if we can get this down. Ugh. There we go. Look at all that food. Yummy, yummy. There are some goblins ahead. Remember to save your game in the escape menu. You can use the F5 to quick save and F8 to quick load. Alright, we'll save her. Ha <laughs> ha! Ha! Why oh, can't them both? Oh. Got this new ability. Oh. Oh, he hit me quick there. There we go. Chopped you down. I have a punctured foot, though. That's not good. There's this guy's caught. Oh, man. Got some kind of rare item though. Aha! Area cleared. Successfully cleared this area. And of foes, when you are out of combat for more than five seconds, you can open the map to travel either in the toolbar or by pressing the M. Okay, cool. Well, I do give you money. I'm glad I cleared this out. 
free, my friend. Thank you. I would... Thank you. I would have been done for. I'm getting out of here. Hope you're coming with me. Alright, so we're out of combat. Let's keep going this way to make sure there's nothing else here, though. My little bunny. Oh, yummy, 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 yummy. Okay, so let's go back. We have a worker now. Hopefully. Like he made it? That's good. This is a great place to start a settlement. All we need is a couple of workers. Okay, well, I got one worker. Now that we have a worker, we can send them to different places to harvest resources to show them where to go on the map. Oh, okay. That's interesting. We could use a storage tent to keep supplies for more constructions. Okay, I want you to heal me, though, right now, buddy. There. Still have something to say, though. I don't know. Greetings. Greetings, hero. Fine settlements you have here. I'm an adept builder. I thought my skills could be of use here. Alright. Speaking of skills, we ought to have a blacksmith here. I know a fellow who lives nearby. Perhaps you could talk him into joining our settlement. I like it. So I don't quite have enough to do the storage yet. I need some skin. I can't talk to this guy. Said I need to look at the map to send him somewhere, right? The number under a region indicates how many workers are present there. Workers at your campground are idle, and you should assign them somewhere to go and collect resources. Click on a cleared region to see how many resources, resources are left together. Then use the plus and minus buttons to assign more or less workers to that region. You can also click the manager button at the bottom left of your map to view all the regions at once and task workers more quickly. So it looks like there's wood here. Okay. So... Look here. So I can send him there to go get wood, it looks like. Hold shift. Okay, so that's what we're doing. I should task that guy to go get wood. Hopefully. Oh yeah, he put on he put on a wood cutting outfit. Nice. Okay. These guys give me skin, but they do give me food. What's this? Bones? Alright, so now we need to probably go get this guy. We need to explore. Hmm, why can't I? It's because I'm not connected. Oh, I don't have enough food. There we go. Travel. Here we go. Food here, which is good. Oh, there he is. You're the one starting a settlement. Well, I could offer my help, but I'd like to see if you're worthy. There's a pack of wolves near here. I can normally handle them on my own, but a warrior like yourself shouldn't have much problems or trouble. If you slay them, I'll consider joining your settlement. All right, buddy. Sounds fair. Go get these wolves. This guy steals wood. Oh yeah. Got a dog here. Sweet, sweet food. Whoa. I stopped because I was trying to shield, but I quickly realized shield was not working. Yeah, 
Yeah, I gotta remember how to do my move here. There we go. Couldn't get it to go off. I should have started with that. Alright, we got him this time. Alright. Still better than made it. Nice. Sweet supplies. Oh, no, let's go back. Oh, I just went in this house. Didn't even know you could do that. Still haven't handled those wolves. I didn't think you could. Yeah, I did. Well, you've proven yourself, that's for sure. I suppose I could come and offer my help. Hmm, should I repair? Sure. I think that's what that first bar was, my armor taking damage. Ah. There we go. Back we go. All right, look at this back here, our giant village of people. Greetings, Ken. I'm a ranger. I've been around these parts for quite some time. I hope you don't mind me staying here for a while. Nasty. Goblin. A ghastly, excuse me, goblin. Shaman has been eluding me for months. I think he's camped in the forest south of here. Please slay him if you can, and I'll reward you. Sounds good. I like quest. All right, storage tent. I might be getting close. Not a bad little thing you got going here. I'm sure it will grow. I haven't got any work for you now. Perhaps if you get a forge built, I'd have more for you to do. Well, I need some supplies for that. Settlement is growing. You're doing well. It's good to have an extra pair of hands, but we can always do some more work. Greetings, hero. Find some of what you have here. I'm an adapt builder. I thought my skills could be of use here. Uh, oh, close. Oh, I can build storage. Okay. Let's get that built. You can upgrade buildings to increase their benefits. Click the hammer icon next to the building's name to open the upgrade menu. Nice. So, okay, here's where I can store stuff. So that's uh, physics resist 3, fire 3. Oh, this is the axe I got. I should have that equipped. It's way better. Okay. Helm, I don't think I have it. Oh, yeah, I do have a helm. Never mind. 4 4, or a 4 4 with phys resist. Oh, yeah, physical resist is good. Or shield. 8, 8, physical resist 1, 5, 5, physical resist 5. Don't know on that one. Well, that was the 9, 9. Oh, we'll go ahead put the 9, 9 in. Store the stuff in our sweet new storage chest. 
take an extra axe just in case we happen to break our first one. Don't worry about housing. I'll sort that out. I'll make sure every dwarf has a roof over his head. Well done. I knew you could convince him to come. Here he's been a bit of a recluse of late, but he knows what's good for him. Money, money, money. Hello again. Do you need my service? I built your storage tent. Good. Now that we have a storage tent, we should find some workers to help us fill it up. Apparently level up, so that's awesome. New health this time. Chill dash ended up not being as good as I thought. Enable this ability to make standard quick slashes with the left mouse button. We have that already. Enable this ability to increase the force of your attacks pushing enemies back. Double all armor penetration. Might be good. Double your chance of get, getting a crit strike. Unlocked. Alright everybody, so that's uh, about the first 45 minutes of the game. Kind of wanted to show you guys. Um, so far I really like it. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, I'm definitely going to play some more, so keep an eye out for some more videos of this. And again, this game is... Um, it's called Regions of Ruin. It's available on Steam for just under 10 bucks. So check it out. Please hit that subscribe button and the like button and help me grow my channel. And have a great day, everybody.